Welcome to the 2018 Band in a Box audio export tutorial for Mac. In this video, we will be going over a few different methods to export audio files such as WAVs or M4As for your songs or individual song tracks. First, you will need to open up a song. I have loaded the demo song for our grass pop style. Let's take a listen. Okay, so now that we have our song, we want to export it as an audio file. The first method we will look at is using the Wave button. When you select the Wave button, you will see a number of options. Let's start with the two quick export options. So let's choose Export Song as M4A. This will open the File Save dialog, where you will name your file and choose where you would like to export it. I have set up a folder on my desktop called Audio Files, and I will leave the file named as Grass Pop Demo. Click Save to render your M4A file to your selected destination. This will take a moment. Once the render has completed, you will see a green pop up in the bottom right corner letting you know that the render has completed. You can click the green box to demo the file. You can use the same process to export an AIFF file as well. Just click the Wave button and select Export Song as AIFF. Again, just name your file, select the destination, and press Save. Once the render has finished, click the green box to demo your AIFF file. If we open up the Finder to our Audio Files folder, we will see the two files we have exported. You can see they are named the same, but one has an M4A file extension and the other has an AIFF file extension. Now let's use this Wave button again, except this time, let's select Render Tracks to Audio File with Options. This will open up the Render to Audio File dialog, where you will find a number of options. The first option is to select your format. We will select Wave this time. The next option is Channel. Here you can choose to export as Mono or Stereo. We will just select Auto to make things easy. You can normalize your mix. Choose to export one file per track, but we will go over that option a little later. You can export with or without the two bar lead in. And you can also include Acid or Apple Loops information. There is also an option to adjust the delay at the beginning or end of your song. When you are ready to export your file, just press Render. Then name your file, and select the destination, and press Save. Once the render has completed, the file location will automatically open in the Finder. You can now see the third file we have exported with the WAV file extension. Another way to access the Render to Audio File dialog is from the Audio menu at the top of the Band in a Box window. But let's go back to the Wave button for now, and look at the other options available there. You can save the current song, or a batch of songs located in the same folder as M4A files for use with the mobile Band in a Box app. These M4A files will be saved in the same location where the SGU song files have been saved. You can also share your song to SoundCloud in M4A or AIFF formats. These files can be located in the designated SoundCloud folder by clicking Open SoundCloud folder here. Let's go back to the Render to Audio File dialog. We will select M4A, but this time we will check the one file per track option. This will render a separate audio file for each track of the Band in a Box mixer. These files can later be imported to a DAW of your choice for mixing and mastering. 
So let's press render. Then name your file and select the destination and press save. It will take a few moments to render each track. You can now see in our audio file folder we now have several newly rendered files that are labeled by the mixer tracks. Real drums, bass, guitar, and piano. It has also rendered a new master track file as well. Let's take a listen to the drum track. How about the guitar track? They both sound great. Now let's take a look at the drag and drop feature. Along the top of the band in a box window, there is a black bar with the names of each track, including the master track. These are linked to the mixer. So if I select the bass up here, bass is also selected in the mixer. Same goes for guitar, drums, and so on. Let's open our audio files folder that we have been using to render files previously. I'm going to delete the previous files we have rendered. Now if I click and hold on the master track at the top, you will see the silhouette of a file appear. This indicates that Band in a Box is ready to render out the master track but needs a place to put the file. So while still holding down on the left button of your mouse, move your cursor to the folder you would like to export your audio file to. You can then release the button of your mouse and Band in a Box will automatically render a file of the master track to the location in which you have dropped the file. You can see the file is labeled drag drop. This can also be done with any of the other tracks. Let's try with the drum track. You can see along the top, all the tracks except the drums have gone red because they are muted during the render. Here we go. We can now see our new file that is labeled with the name of the real drums from our song. In the top left of the Band in a Box window, below the master track, is the drop section. You can click and hold on a track from the black bar the same as before, but instead of dragging to a folder, you can drag to the drop section. Hover your cursor over the format you would like to export and release. You will know if it has been done correctly because the icon of the format you have chosen will turn orange while rendering and green once completed. You can then right click on the drop section and either choose audition the file or open drag and drop folder. There you will find your rendered files. You can also drag any of the tracks to the plus sign in the drop station. This option will give you a list of available formats, as well as the option to separate files for each track. I will select M4A and separate the files for each track. Press OK to render. This will take some time. You can see over in the mixer as each track is soloed and rendered. When the render has completed, again, right click on the drop station and choose open drag and drop folder to locate your separated mixer tracks. You can see each file is labeled after the real track used in the song. Let's listen to the guitar track. Sounds great. Another way to use drag and drop is dragging directly into your DAW. Right below the drop station, you can press the DAW button. 
This will compact the band in a box window so you can share the screen with your DAW. You can use any DAW of your choice, but today I will be using Logic Pro. I have already exported separate wave tracks to the drag and drop folder. So I will click and hold on the wave format, drag it over to my DAW and release the mouse. Logic asks where I want to place these audio tracks and I want them to be on new tracks. So I select create new tracks. Now we have all of our band in a box tracks in our DAW ready for post-production mixing. Let's take a quick listen. Our tracks are all ready for post-production mixing and mastering. Thanks for watching and have fun.